Okay, uh, Paul here from Rotec Engineering. Uh, we're just having a discussion here. This is about um, the Jabiru engine, the 3300 converted with liquid cooled heads. And I just want to talk a little bit about the hydraulic engine versus the solid lifter engine. The hydraulic lifter engine uh, that Jabiru produce has got a couple of little issues that need to be understood. Uh, otherwise, some pretty serious problems can result. First of all, we want to talk about the, the two springs that Jabiru offer. The spring that I've painted, the spring that's, um, the spring that's not painted is a standard, hydro, a standard solid lifter spring. Now, very, few, very few people really realize this, but this is a solid lifter spring. The one painted blue is a hydraulic lifter spring. Their three lengths are very similar and not that relevant, but what you'll notice on the hydraulic lifter spring is that it actually has more coils. And I can tell you through experimentation that when this spring is uh, compressed to its maximum, it is around, around about five millimeters longer than the mechanical spring, the solid lifter spring. What that means is that this spring will bind a lot earlier than this one. The reason that Jabiru introduced this heavier spring with the extra coil over the standard spring is because they were getting some problems with the hydraulic lifters over pumping and that the Chevy lifter that they used was a little bit too powerful for these fairly light lawnmower type springs. So what they did was they introduced a heavier spring. Now the problem is the Jabiru engine, as you can see here, we've put a dial indicator on it. It has a valve lift. I've put a solid lifter in this engine temporarily and we've measured the valve lift and the valve lift is around about 10 millimeters. In fact, it's around about 9.8, but let's just call it 10 for safety. So that means when you're building a hydraulic engine with our liquid cooled heads, you must make sure that you get at least, that you've got at least 10 millimeters of valve movement before the spring binds. And you can do that physically by manually moving the rocker arm with a lever or some other method, but you must make sure that you've got 10 millimeters of valve movement before the spring binds. If you don't, then you run the risk of some serious problems. What can happen is, if the spring binds, then what tends to happen is the coils will compress the square, the ends of the valve of the spring are not very square. When they're fully bound, they tend to kick the top of the valve over and they have a tendency to break the top of the valve off. It's very serious. That valve falls into the engine and then all hell breaks loose. If the spring doesn't bind, you don't have a worry in the world. If the spring is binding, you've got a big worry. And it's not an LCH problem, it's a problem that exists at the Jabiru factory. The Jabiru solution is to seat the valves deeper and thus giving the spring more, more, more free length, more expanded length. So when the hydraulic lifters fill, they only have to apply around the 9.8 millimeters of, of, uh, of lift to the valves. The problem is if the hydraulic lifters over pump and continue to lift, that nine millimeters is still going to be applied and now you're into spring binding territory and that is a very serious problem. For hydraulic lifter engines, the earlier engines had a solid push hydraulic lifters with a solid push rod. Here is that solid push rod. And very few people realize that one end of the push rod has a very fine slit grooved in it. I found it, I don't think you'll get it that much. I found I found nowhere in any documentation describing this slit. So I would suggest that the majority of people putting these push rods in are putting them in 50% around the wrong way. And that is a big problem. What does that slit do? That slit allows oil in the hydraulic lifter to slowly bleed out. Otherwise, the finely polished end of the non-slitted end will actually block the hydraulic lifter and give it no means to relieve. So the oil will just build up and as the engine cools down, that oil will be trapped and you'll get an overextended situation. Remember, on this blue valve spring, on this blue valve spring, we are only running with around about a millimeter at best clearance prior to valve binding, spring binding. If you get a millimeter of over pump up by putting the push rod around the wrong way, you're in a dangerous zone. The later hydraulic engines have a hollow push rod, which is correct, that's what it should be. But the earlier ones have a slit. Jabiru, in their wisdom, decided to put the slit only at one end, not at the other end. So it's very easy to put the push rod in around the wrong way, particularly if you're not even aware that this slit exists. So in a nutshell, if you're running the hydraulic lifter engine with Jabiru heads or our heads, it, is a, it, is, it would be very poignant to make sure that you've got 
your 10 millimeters of required uh, valve movement and make sure that you don't have any spring bind. What we have here is I've got a dial indicator indicating maximum lift. I've put a, I've put a solid lifter in here and I've taken the valve clearance out to zero to test the application. So when we now bring this valve all the way around, as you can see I'm doing now, it's going down to full depth. Right, right there, I've got, uh, I've got about 9.8 millimetres, about 9.78 millimetres of, um, of spring depression. Now with the valve fully depressed, I can then get this feeler gauge and I can make sure that, that a feeler gauge will sneak in between the coils. which it does, see there? I've got that feeler gauge in. Now let me tell you, it's tight though. This feeler gauge is probably only around about 0.3 and it just sneaks in. So this particular engine here, I'm not going to use these valve springs. I'm gonna put stock springs back in and make it a, hydraulic, a solid lifter engine by converting the hydraulic lifters. But that's another story. If you do choose to stick with the hydraulic lifters, you must be well aware of the dangers of spring binding. Okay, bye for now.